Carter. We're just about ready to learn the meaning of Lisa Spencer's vivid and possibly telepathic dream. You might remember, in her dream, she sees her grandmother as an 18-year-old girl in a yellow dress. Lisa follows her through a beautiful forest to a lake. Her grandmother jumps into the water, but she doesn't get wet. Mermaids surround her as she invites Lisa to join her. Then she disappears. In the morning, Lisa awakens to find out her grandmother has passed away. Lisa, that's quite a dream. Yeah. Okay, well, let's start with Dr. Bruce Bynum. Well, Lisa, I feel this is, uh, this is one of those great, uh, what's called crisis telepathy dreams. Crisis telepathy, it happens within 24 hours usually of a person mm -hmm. having an ethical situation. Either they die or they're hurt or they're very frightened. And the person who is in that state of reception is in a very passive state, dreaming, meditating, prayer, whatever. But the person who is in the other state is usually in a highly charged situation. And they share that common relationship, that common family feel. Mm -hmm. I find it very interesting that she goes to a lake and invites you, and she dives into the water, deep blue water, and uh, she's greeted by beings, mystical beings, mm. uh, beautiful beings, intelligent beings, from another realm of some sort or another who are there to meet her. And yeah. they may be ancestral uh, spirits of their own kind. Mm -hmm. Many of the world's traditions have a long history of recognizing this. In the unconscious, we don't believe in death. Mm -hmm. It's constant transformation. Yeah. The unconscious believes that E equals MC squared, that energy is constantly transformed. And my sense is that that's what this dream, in a very joyous way, brought you. Yeah. It was like a happy, like she was letting go of the pain in her life, you know, and, and that joyous part of her was free. It released you. Yeah. And it released her. Yeah. So. Thank you, Bruce. Marcia. Yeah, sticking up in the joy motif. Wasn't your grandma in a yellow dress? Yes. And yellow is, yellow. A very, is the color of joy. <laughs> so, you know, That's here true. she's coming to you in joy. And I was fascinated by the 18 because in consciousness research, when our loved ones who have gone on to another realm of existence come back, they always come back younger huh. when we picture them. And what I'm so pleased of for you with this dream is not only the communication from your grandma to you, but it's giving you a strong signal to be aware of your, your strong intuitive abilities, the telepathic, mm. the connections that you have yeah, with other very, people. It's confusing. I mean, it confuses me because I don't know how it happens. You know, it's certain. Accept it. Happens, so. and, and now that you know it, because we're telling you, <laughs> you are a telepath. <laughs> telepathic uh, it's something that you could study and learn more about you know mm -hmm. and and read about because that's a real gift to be able to communicate mm -hmm. so uh, I say you know just feel blessed that you had this gift <laughs> thank you pretty incredible <laughs> Alan what light do you have to shed on this all right Lisa I focused on a couple of dimensions mm -hmm. uh, of the dream sometimes dreams have multiple layers the yeah. dream could be telling you something about how you deal with feelings in your own life. It may indeed be that you're like her in that joyful, playful side, but perhaps you may have some struggles about whether to let go and jump in with the mermaids and get wet. Uh, <laughs> and if you, if you jump in, will you disappear? You know, like will a you fear? Be, what? You, mean, you mean like a fear? Like a fear, maybe, fear. Of, of completely letting go to feelings. Because uh, you seem joyful in, in, the, in yeah. your presence, uh, but you know, we all struggle with certain issues and dilemmas in, internally. We may yeah. not be exactly yeah. like her, but there's just that issue, because it's your dream. It's more your issue than your grandmother's issue. Yeah, that's there, true. There's a little bit of that issue that may be at play. Hmm. That makes sense. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. Veronica. See, you know, I was also really struck by the fact that she was 18. She was a very young feminine. Mm -hmm. And everything about this dream is so feminine. I mean, it's beautiful. There are flowers. There's a <laughs> hill. And she's, you know, you're following her to this lake, which is another feminine water womb sort of a thing. And I wonder if it might be that part of what's going on in terms of the water and the emotion and, and your grandmother's sort of distancing from that as you've described her, it might really be a reflection of your own struggle or challenge to embody more of your femininity, which would be vulnerability, I think. Yeah, probably. That could, that's, that could be true. But there's also that aspect of feeling, which is joy. Sometimes joy is, is scary. 
I mean, it can yeah. be different, you know, from your everyday experience. Yeah. I th they say that joy and pain are the same feeling. It's just a different, one's uh -huh. a negative, one's a positive. Um, I know I'm in touch with my, my emotions. I just don't release them as much. And maybe that's, that's something that's similar. Do you do art of any kind? All right. So have you thought about maybe writing about this place? Going to it in your imagination and writing about it? Yeah. So she may be inviting you to dive into that a little bit more. Veronica, thank you so much. Lisa, a lot to chew on with yeah. this. Do you feel you have a little more insight into the dream? Yeah, I do. And you also said after that dream you're now closer to your grandmother than you ever were before. Yeah, it's actually a connection that I, ha I got from the dream that I never had with her. And I never had that connection that I understand a little bit more now. Great. Thank you so much for sharing your dream with us today. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, our next dreamer is coming up, so stay with us as Dream Decoders continues right after this. Coming up. Learn decoding clues from a young woman's nightmare about rats and a race. Dreams have a lot of times plays on words. And the crucial role of dreams Jason. in the grieving process. When the dream decoders told me that I needed to maybe open up a little bit and let out my emotion, sort of like my grandmother was in that dream, it was the first time I kind of realized, that, oh, you know what, I do kind of hold things in. And the whole time she was going, dying and holding in her pain through her death, when she let it go, she was joyous. 